Hi guys, I'm Gabe from All Star Telescope. Today we're going to be going through some of the telescopes in the intermediate price range that we want to highlight for this upcoming holiday season. Our first one is the Star Travel 102 from Skywatcher. It's a 4 inch f5 refractor. One of its selling points is it has tube rings, so it's easy to disassemble and make a bit more compact for travel. It is an all manual mount, so you do need to be a bit familiar with the night sky. But that also means you don't need to do any calibration or alignment or worry about power. It's a good all-rounder, so it's just as capable at night as in the day. You can use it for observing the moon, the planets, some deep sky objects, and with the right filtering, the sun as well. It comes with a 45 degree diagonal, two eyepieces. It accepts two inch diagonals and eyepieces as well. And it includes a T-ring thread for attaching your camera directly to it for photos of the moon or planets. We have a couple of different accessories that might pair well with the Star Travel 102, like a red headlamp for seeing your way around in the dark, a variety of filters, like a neutral density filter for getting more detail when looking at the moon and not blinding yourself, or a color filter set for seeing different details on the planets, or an upgraded eyepiece for planetary viewing, like the 4 or 6 mm Omni Plosal or Plossal from Celestron. And just like everything else, it pairs nicely with this book, 110 Things to See with a Telescope. Alright. Mwah. This is the StarSense Explorer 102DX. It's a 102 mm refractor on a manual Ulta S base but it uses Celestron's StarSense technology, which lets you use your phone as a step-by-step -step guide to finding any deep sky or planetary object in the night sky. It doesn't have the most aperture, when compared to other telescopes on this list, but the StarSense technology does help a lot when trying to find those dim deep sky objects. It's got a good amount of focal length, So that's good for viewing craters on the moon, the planets, sunspots with a solar filter, and it's also reasonably portable for daytime use as well. This is the Celestron StarSense Explorer DX130. It's a reflector, a Newtonian telescope on a manual Altaz mount, and just like the 102, it comes with Celestron StarSense technology, which lets you use your phone as a step-by-step -step navigator to find deep sky objects. Newtonian telescopes help you get a lot more aperture and focal length for your money, uh, but it does come at the cost of requiring collimation every now and then to help realign the mirrors and help you get a sharper image. Uh, so it's a little bit less grab-and-go than a refractor, uh, but you do end up getting more bang for your buck. The relatively large aperture and focal length for its price point make it really good for lunar observing, for looking at the planets, and with a solar filter looking at sunspots. And just like other StarSense products, the StarSense technology makes it much easier to find deep sky objects that might be a little tricky to locate otherwise. Up next is the Virtuoso GTI series of tabletop Dobsonians from Skywatcher. They come in either 130 or 150 millimeters. They are collapsible Dobsonians, and they come with go-to capability, which means you can connect to it through Wi-Fi to your phone, and you can use your phone as a controller, which, after alignment, will let you select whichever target you want, and it will automatically slew to it and show it to you. Just like other Newtonians, it's a good generalist. It lets you get good magnification, so you can view the craters on the moon, the planets. Can't really use this for solar, because even if you do have a front solar filter, uh, there's still a risk of sunlight getting in because it's an extendable tube design. Just like other reflector telescopes, it provides a lot of aperture and focal length for the money, uh, but it does require you to recollimate it with these collimation screws every now and then to get a sharp image. Because it's a go-to mount, if you want to use the go-to capability, it will need power. It can be powered either with the internal battery pack, off of wall power with an adapter, or with an external power pack, such as this power tank lithium LT from Celestron. 
Because it connects with your phone, a lot of the initial alignment for GoTo is automated. Uh, so that, combined with its very portable nature, makes it still quite easy to set up and be a bit of a grab-and-go telescope, especially for one that is GoTo capable. Or also great for people with not a lot of space, like with an apartment balcony. All the same things that we said about the 130 GTI also apply to the 150, except the larger aperture means it's a bit bulkier, but with that you get to see fainter objects and get more magnification on stuff like the moon or planets. Well, thanks for watching. We're gonna have links to all the products mentioned in the description down below. And if none of the telescopes mentioned tickle your fancy, check out any of our other videos. We have lots of tutorials, different videos on rock tumbling and stuff. Maybe those will do it for you. All right, well, see you later.